This coverage of MWC is brought to you by Bitdefender Mobile Security. The second generation of Samsung's Gear smartwatch ditches the Galaxy branding and with it Android in favor of Tizen, Samsung's long-coming Linux-based operating system that was just introduced here at MWC. Hey, it's Joshua Gard from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And thus, we have for you the first look at the Samsung Gear 2. <laughs> Instead of an awkward bulge on the strap, the Gear 2 seamlessly integrates the camera inside its body. Moreover, the strap itself is thinner and more flexible, which makes the device feel better on the wrist. Straps are now interchangeable too, so you can adapt the Gear 2 to your own style. And in terms of the general design, the Gear 2 isn't really straying far from the direction set with the first generation, but with these optimizations, it is overall slimmer, lighter, and we think, better looking. Now the button that was originally on the side of the gear for standby and waking the gear has been moved over to the bottom center of the body, basically simulating a home button kind of feel. It works just like the standby and wake button, however, no matter how you use it. Samsung managed to greatly extend the battery life of the Gear 2 also, to a very reasonable 2-3 to three days with typical usage, and up to 6 days with more frugal usage. For comparison, the original Gear makes it through maybe about a day, meaning that you had to charge it every single night. That probably, and most likely, will not be the case with the Gear 2. Functionality on the Gear 2 is also not in shortage as a few new apps have been added in. One in particular is the Gear 2's built-in music system. 4 gigabytes of onboard storage are available for you to put some music on there, and when you pair a Bluetooth headset to the Gear 2, you will be able to listen to some music without needing a smartphone nearby. Some fitness apps are also available for those who really want to keep track of their fitness, and a heart rate monitor on the back of the unit itself uses an infrared light to check your heart rate when you need to. After that, there is actually also a watch on application that allows you to use the infrared sensor built into the body in order to control some of your other media devices. Overall, we do like the Gear 2 mainly because its functionality has been brought up, especially with that built-in music player so you don't need to have a smartphone around to listen to some good tunes. Also, the fitness applications are quite nice, and overall it does look like a solid update to the opening gear. And if the price is right, we should be seeing it become more successful than its predecessor. Stay tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage here at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, Spain.